Thank you, Mayor. We have two zoning cases on your agenda this evening for public hearing. Um, this is the same property by the same applicant, but it is two separate requests, an annexation and a rezoning. And pursuant to state law, we need to take action on the rezoning first. Um, but we can entertain discussion, but we'll need to have separate hearings and separate actions when the time comes. Um, this is a request by the Valdez and Lowndes County Industrial Authority to annex and rezone property into the city limits. It is currently zoned EA, or State Agriculture, in the county. They're requesting M1 zoning upon annexation. This is off of um, New Stateville Highway in the southeastern part of the city. Zoning map there on the screen, you can see the green, which is the EA, and the um, gray, which is the M1 zoning. That M1 zoning corresponds with the Miller Business Park, um, which was a Future industrial park that was annexed and rezoned a few years ago. What they were proposing is to expand, um, sort of round out the rectangle, make some of the portions of the park a little bit more marketable and developable for larger businesses. <coughs> and the subject property um, is still mostly forested, um, a little bit overgrown with an agricultural field, and then around it is more of a rural area. Um, this map shows the Miller Business Park as it was laid out, the green is the existing street line system. That yellow line is the current park boundaries. And you see in the upper right corner the irregular shaped property that they're wanting to annex and rezone for purposes of adding. So you see it makes more of a compact rectangle. Um, character area is suburban area under the future development map of the comprehensive plan. Upon annexation, we are allowed to make that change. Um, in this case, it would change to industrial activity center to go along with the industrial park. Uh, land use pattern, of course we have the large industrial park to the south, um, and the rest of the area is still large and developed, uh, probably developed into commercial or residential <coughs> uses in the very long term. Planning Commission reviewed this at their public hearing on October the 28th. Um, during the afternoon of that hearing, we received a phone call from a representative of the, of the adjacent property owner to the east, who expressed some concerns about buffering along the road. Um, that was discussed at the Planning Commission meeting, although no action was taken in the form of their recommendation. Um, there was no one there to explain that concern at the meeting. Since then, we've had some additional conversations with um, the Tulich family and also the Industrial Authority. In the work session, we presented you with some language um, about a possible condition of approval for the rezoning. Um, I've had an additional phone call with um, Mr. Fred Deloach III this afternoon, and we talked about some other things that could be used to tweak that language. So currently, staff and the applicant are recommending um, the condition of, of approval to be as follows. Approval of M1 zoning subject to a minimum 30-foot wide dense vegetative buffer along the new state of Highway right-of-way line consisting of either natural forest or planted evergreen trees in addition to any other landscape requirements by the city at the time of development. Within the buffer area, there shall be no buildings or impervious surface other than a maximum of one access drive connecting to New Stateville Highway. Any planted trees shall be in staggered rows so as to create a dense tree canopy which inhibits view from the highway. So in other words, we have a landscape requirement for a street yard, which is a fairly narrow strip, which consists of trees and shrubs. This would simply add a requirement for additional tree buffer behind that um, to create a little more visual opacity, as they say. Um, be glad to answer any additional questions you might have regarding the rezoning. Any questions, Council? No questions on that? All right. Is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak in favor of this request? Anyone who would like to speak in favor of this request? Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this request? Anyone who would like to speak in opposition? Seeing none, Council, I'll turn it over to you for action. Mr. Mayor? Yes, sir. Make a motion to approve the request as presented, including the uh, condition that staff uh, gave to us this evening. Second. Motion and second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion, please raise your right hand. Motion carries unanimously. All right, 